We found so in the, in the AP poll. And what we found was that the AP pollsters had a lot of confirmation bias. And in the sense that when a team, for example, performed to expectations, they were much more likely to rate that team much higher. In other words, if the betting line, say, in the Ohio State um, Maryland game was you know, Ohio State by 30, and Ohio State won by 31 points, which could be a fluke for a lot of reasons, but Ohio State basically is matching your expectations. About a third of the pollsters are much more likely to rank Ohio State one spot higher than before. And reference that, say Ohio State should beat Maryland by 30. If Ohio State would have beaten Maryland by 29 points, they would rank them one spot lower. And so that really is a confirmation bias, right? The quality of Ohio State shouldn't vary by whether you're one point above or below the spread because you're pretty consistent with the actual expectations. But we found that the pollsters actually take that into account. You're already hearing now people talking about we should move to eight teams for the playoff. It's going to be 16 teams probably into the future. And the reason is very simple. When you have these polls, and so the AP poll being an example, the playoff is now confined to those who are in the top four spots. So if you're number five, you may be just as good as number four, you may be better than number four for a lot of uh, um, debate, and you're not, you have no chance to even um, vie for a national title in this new playoff system. The question that we really have to ask is, is that any better or worse than the BCS system that came before, which had number one playing number two? So the controversy, I think, actually increases with the college football playoff system as it currently is uh, devised because the distinction between number four and number five is really hard. But let's say that we move to eight teams. The distinction between number eight and number nine will be even blurrier because those teams are likely to have losses, likely to have losses to opponents who could be wildly different in their own quality. And then it really is going to be a, a gut test. But now imagine going to 16 teams and number 16 versus number 17. That's going to be even harder as a cutoff. The problem is we're always going to face a cutoff. And the further along down the road that you go to where you make the cutoff, the harder it is to actually say that that cutoff applies to this team but doesn't apply to another. So I think this year we're setting up for another uh, controversy about who's ranked number four and who's ranked number five.